Hey guys, welcome back to Don't Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 78 or 79. I can't remember. <laughs> um, I know I just filmed another episode earlier this week, but um, I have some time to film, and I got some finished objects and stuff, so I thought I'd go ahead and just film another one real fast. Um, and I may just continue doing that. I just film when I can, and even if it's just a few days apart or if it's a couple weeks apart. <laughs> but um, I will say, there, if there's a noise in the background, I have a fan in the window because it's spring and it feels good today. So I have the fan just to like blow air in here. And yeah, so that should be the only background noise unless something kicks on and makes noise. But the air is off. It shouldn't kick on. <laughs> but our refrigerator makes a lot of noise. But anyways, let's get into the episode. Move. Moved you a little bit closer. Uh, I got my laptop over here and I got stuff everywhere. So, uh, yeah. I got five finished objects this week. And actually, I finished all of them yesterday. <laughs> Two of them I started and finished yesterday. And then three were things that I already had started. And I just went ahead and finished them up. So, we will show them. I think the first thing uh, was a whip last video. And it's the little pies. I've got some random stuff in there to put my stuff in bag. Um, for my craft fair that's coming up this October. Um... Last week I showed them and I had almost all the way done. I just needed to make the the whipped cream and then stuff them and sew them together and all that fun stuff. But it is called the Squeeze and Sniff Pumpkin Pie by Allison Hoffman, which is crafty is cool. It'll be linked below and it is a free pattern on her website. So I do have all three of them done now. <laughs> they, um, you know, they're just the little pumpkin pies. They're a little bit on shape because I had them kind of squished down in um, a bag <laughs> so now I got four of those I think that may be all that I make I don't know I might make a couple more if I uh, get around to it all I had to do yesterday was make the uh, the whipped cream and I stuffed the whipped cream and then sewed the pie pieces together and then stuffed it and finished it off so I did that while watching um, Hannah at the Cozy Cottage Crochet her latest video that was like an hour and a half long I was doing that and making these squares that I'm about to show you and stuff and uh, watching her video but yeah so this is Red Heart Super Saver White I think this is um, I can't remember if it's carrot or pumpkin probably pumpkin but I don't know and then this is a buff and this right here is a Red Heart Super Saver but I can't remember what it's called it's just a light gray color uh, it's like a scrap piece that I have, so uh, I'm just trying to use it up, and um, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's gray, but almost all my scraps are Red Heart Super Saver unless they, unless they were gifted to me, because the only local yarn store I have, like in my city, is Walmart, <laughs> and then in the next city over, we do have a Hobby Lobby, but I, I don't really buy yarn there much. Um, it's usually just for specific projects or something, but I always have Red Heart every color just about on hand to make amigurumis and stuff with. Anyways, that's that pie. <laughs> My next finished objects, I did two of them. They are um, May and June squares <laughs> from Jada and Stitches 2017 calendar blanket. I've been working on it kind of on and off since January-ish. I started it. And um, I, wanted, I went ahead and just did a couple squares yesterday. Because I was wanting to crochet, but I wasn't wanting to crochet anything like difficult or... Like Emma Groomy, that's small stitches, you know, stuff. I wanted to just work on something kind of mindless. And her patterns are always so simple and quick, especially these squares, that I just wanted to go ahead and make two of them. So I made um, May and June. So I'm trying to remember which one. I think this one's May. It's a flower. I think this is May. I'm pretty sure. Um, again, this is all Red Heart Super Saver, except this green right here. This is the kind that I got from. Uh, where did I get that? The proper pineapple. The giveaway that I won from her, she, I got some yellow, green, and orange yarn. Actually, no, think about this is it too. Both of these two are the yarns I won from her, but the rest of it is white, um, spring green, bright yellow, and I can't remember what this is, the color. But it's all Red Heart other than those two, and I can't remember its brand. But this is the uh, May Square to the 2017 uh, Afghan, and I did pretty good at sewing on you can't see where I sewed on the butterfly <laughs> and um, I really enjoyed this square it was a lot of fun and it's really pretty I think this would be pretty as a blanket itself if you just made a bunch of these squares with different color flowers and you know some with butterflies and maybe some little ladybugs or something I think that'd be really cute um, the pattern has four leaves one in each corner but I just put them on the bottom because you know this is gonna be the way it's gonna be laying on the blanket it's gonna be facing up and down <laughs> but yeah I really like it. It's bright and cheery and pretty. 
throw that over there. And then the next one, I think, is the June square. I think I'm doing them in order. I can't remember. But it is a sun. <laughs> it looks a little weird. But it, again, is red heart, white, um, light blue, bright yellow. This is perfect pink, I think. Uh, cherry red, black. This one was a lot of fun, too. I like the way she constructed it. Hold on a second. I got a message. Sorry about that. My mom messaged and I always, always stop filming to message my family because my family is more important than me making a video. <laughs> Anyways, I like this one too. And it was really cool how like you, you start with the circle part of the yellow and before you make the pointy parts <laughs> and then you leave the yellow attached and then you actually you attach the blue on the back loop and then later you come back with the yellow and work the triangle parts on the front loop or the ones that you skipped. And it's just a really cool concept and all that. And I just... I love all her patterns. Every pattern I've ever tried by Jada has been super easy and super fun. So I can't wait to finish this blanket. I think I'm going to try to finish it soon. Let's see, this is June. So I have July, August, September, October, November, December. Um, six squares, right? And then the border. Um, and if I finish this before our county fair, which I should be able to because it's in uh, the very first week of September. Um, I'm going to enter this as the baby afghan, maybe, I don't know, <laughs> we shall see. But again, I did pretty good sewing it on uh, to where you can't see it a lot. These bits that you can see is mostly like from the holes, like where you can actually physically see the circles. It's not like the thread sewn on. She teaches uh, really well how to sew on appliques without it showing through like crazy bad. So yeah, there's a little end right there I need to trim. <laughs> But uh, other than that, yeah. So next I'll be working on July Square. And I think it's got like a little camper on it. No, it's, a, it's got that one or an American flag. I'll probably do the American flag one because um, I'm American. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember. I'll look. But yeah, that's all my finished objects this week. Uh, so far. <laughs> um, my next, this is my first whip. I haven't actually started it yet. I did make one already a while ago. And um, I got it all together to make more. I think yeah <laughs> I'm gonna be making I want to make probably four or five or six more of these um, amigurumis and it is in the bag that I won from the yarn closet uh, I was her hundredth subscriber to her YouTube channel which if I can remember I'll link it below <laughs> um, so she gave me a gift and this was in part of it and there was some other stuff and then the stitch marker that I'm going to use on it when I get uh, it started it will stop moving it's from Carla from CJ Crochet. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> she sent me some, two of them for um, St. Patrick's Day. This one and then a Celtic Knot, which is in my bag still. But I just grabbed one out and this just happened to be it. So I got it stuck on there to use when I get started. But I love this bag. It's got a pretty flowery inside. But it's just got some orange. This is that orange from the Purple Pineapple. Holly. <laughs> I was trying to remember her name earlier and I forgot. And then I got some bright yellow and then. This, I think, is, I know, I love this yarn scrap. It could be Red Heart. I'm not sure. <laughs> and then my hook is already in there. And it is an elf hook. One my sister got me um, for Christmas a couple years ago. But this is going to be the little rocket ships. I can't remember if I ever showed the first one. I don't think I did because Jesse took it to his grandpa's and left it. But I've gotten it back now. It's in there in my tote of stuff for the craft show. I have to dig it out and show it to you guys next time I film but um, I'm gonna make a few of those the yellow is gonna be for the little wings on the side of the rocket ship the rocket ship is gonna be gray and then the orange is gonna be like the fire coming out the bottom of it the the first one I made has green wings and then this one's gonna be yellow and then I thought I'd make like orange maybe not orange because the fire probably maybe red and blue and some other you know just different colors in case some kid likes a certain color or whatever but yeah so that is going to be a web but it's not actually started and then I do have one other whip that is started. I just started it a little while ago. I was working on it um, while my phone was charging so that I could film. I messed up the beginning of it, but I hope, I'm not ripping it out. So I'm hoping it's pretty obvious mess up, but maybe maybe it'll blend in. I might be able to add some, um, go back after I'm done and like sew it shut or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. 
but it is a crochet along that is it's free until june 1st i think is when if you join after that you have to pay for it um and it's hosted on the facebook group and i'll try to link all of it below if i can remember but it's i think it's b-ball blanket crochet patterns i found it just randomly on Rav ravelry because i was looking up patterns to make with red heart uh super saver ombre because i have four jumbo balls of this color what is it called scuba and i wanted to use it to make something so um i just happened to found, find this and it was just right before the crochet along started it technically started today may 10th but they actually released the first part of the pattern yesterday i don't know if they're in a different time zone than me but um let's see here i'm not sure i think it's just the bee ball blanket crochet patterns but uh it's called the high tides wave cow crochet blanket <laughs> but i just started part one Part one releases, and then I think a week or two later, part two releases. So this is part one. You can't really see the texture all that well on the camera as you can in real life. <laughs> There's some front post double crochets shaping, and then uh, popcorn stitches and stuff. And I'm working on. I just got to row round seven, and the first part has I think 13 rounds. So uh, after you finish the first part you post a picture of it on the Facebook group and then they email you the second part I think that's how it works from reading other people's comments and their pictures and stuff that's what it looks like and um, this is actually the exact same yarn they used I think well maybe it might be the green one I don't know but Red Heart Super Saver Ombre is what they use in like the pattern pictures but then they have other list of other yarns that you can use and I've seen some people were using Mandala and Karen and just different um, what are they called like cake yarns that are self-striping or whatever and uh but i'm sure you could use solid colors or just change you know like i did with the mandala madness just changed whenever you wanted to change the colors um but yeah it's looking really pretty this is going to come out like baby size afghan so if i don't enter the jade and stitches 2017 calendar blanket into my county fair for the baby afghan i might enter this it depends on how big it comes out and um which one i like more <laughs> i really like the jade and stitches one but um if this one looks good and textured and the color changes come out good and all that, I may enter this. I don't know. I'll have to wait and um, see <laughs> when um, when they get done. And if I do enter this one as baby afghan, I could possibly enter the Jen and Stitches one. They have um, wall hanging category. I could maybe count that as a wall hanging if I could put like a dowel through the top of it uh, to make it look like some kind of calendar thing. <laughs> I don't know. I will see when the top comes. I got plenty of time to worry about that. But this is working out pretty fast right now. Obviously, I'm in the first few rounds, so they're short. And the bigger it gets, the longer the rounds are going to be. But um, I'm liking it so far. I did mess up the beginning uh, popcorn stitches. These ones down here. I think I forgot to do the chain one. You know, once you close the popcorn stitch, um, you chain one. And I think I forgot to do that with these three. Because these ones look good, and then these ones look funky. So what I think I'll do is after um, I'm done... I'll cut off a scrap of this teal color and go back and kind of like loop it around there just to kind of tighten those up a little bit. Cause something, I did something wrong with those ones, but um, I'm not too worried about it. It'll it'll look fine. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm in this like teal, tilly blue color of my ball. And I'm just about, I'm getting close to changing into a lighter color blue. So I'm hoping that the color changes look alright and aren't weird looking. I've never used ombre before, but I have four balls of it. I bought just because I wanted to. And um, I've been wanting to make something with it. So I'm hoping that a lot of times when people put out patterns like this, they make them small and then later they come back and add more rounds to it so that you can make it bigger. I'm hoping that they do that because I this pattern is supposed to take 2.6 of these to finish this pattern. And like I said, I have four of them so I'd like to use them up but I guess if um, I have a bunch left over after this blanket's done I can use it to make some amigurumis some bigger amigurumis because then the color changes would look good on a bigger amigurumi but yeah anyways that's a lot of babble about that <laughs> I will try to remember to link the Facebook group and all that below for that and um, it's a private Facebook group so you have to like you know you hit join and then get accepted and um, they've got announcements on the top of their group about all the information about the cow. So you can figure out how to um, join along and all that if you're interested. And I think you can go ahead and buy the whole pattern as a PDF like most cows do. So that you don't have to wait. But that is all of my whips right now that I'm actually working on. I got some random whips in there in a 
box <laughs> that I've not touched in a while and probably won't be touching in a while because I'm wanting to work on more county fair projects and more um, craft fair projects. I'm going to be working on a lot of amigurumis uh, between now and the beginning of October because October 12th is the craft fair. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I'm hoping that I do decent. <laughs> Uh, as long as I make $25 back, which is what I had to pay to get a booth, I'm fine because um, I won't have to buy any special yarn. It's all yarn that I already have. Um, yeah, I, you know, I just, as long as I make $25 back, I'll be perfectly happy that day. Uh, I got a feeling I should do pretty good, especially if I'm the only Amigurumi booth there um, because it's a kids, it's raising money for a kids charity. So there's probably going to be a lot of families there with kids. And if I have a booth full of toys, um, it might draw their attention. I'm going to try to set up tables. And when it comes to that time, I will share everything that I do. This is my first real honest um, craft fair. <laughs> I almost said flea market. Uh, so, you know, I'm new to all this too. But I want to uh, get, you know, set up the tables with different tiers so that I can put different amigurumis everywhere. But I also want to try to set up things in front of the table, some crates or something. With some little toys in them just to be at you know eye level of kids <laughs> so um you know if a kid sees something they can get their parent to buy it for them that's the hope at least <laughs> but um yeah i'm wanting to make a bunch of amigurumis big ones and little ones and um all different price ranges so that um it's easier for families to buy multiple ones if they have four or five kids you know they can afford to buy uh five little toys but yeah Anyways, that's all my whips for now. Probably we'll have more next week. Just like I will probably have more finished objects next week. Hopefully some rocket ships and maybe some other um, little things. I'm trying to pick up my stuff. Let's see here. What else do I need to talk about? I don't have a whole lot to talk about today. Um, I gotta go message someone real fast to wear back. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's messaged. Okay, I think that that's all that I need to really talk about. I did get my knit crate today, but I'll be sharing that in a separate video. And I also, I do need to talk about the winners of the New Year, New You and <laughs> Cal that I was co-hosting with Mo from Unseen Strength. Um, I did, you know, like close the entries on Monday. I mean, not Monday, last Sunday, the 5th. <laughs> and uh, I did draw two winners. And it was so funny because I wanted to draw two winners. And so I drew one winner and got the name. And it was Dana <laughs> from Tabitha's Treasures. And uh, what I did is I counted all the pictures. And then I did a random number generator. And then I had to count through all the pictures again. So if you're on the Facebook group and you notice that some of your pictures got deleted. It's because the items that you posted more than one picture of the same item. I deleted that. You know, like from different angles or whatever. Just so that it would be easier for me to um, do the random number generator. So I got Dana the first time and then I drew the second one and counted it and it was Dana again. <laughs> so I redid another one. So Dana did win prize number one um, from Tabitha's Treasures. And then the second prize winner <laughs> was actually a Tennessean from, you know, I know her just from comments and stuff. And it was Sandra, <laughs> Sandra Tester. So y'all were the winners of the New Year, New You Cow. And I wanted to make project bags, but I just haven't had the time to get around to doing it. But I did make you crab bags. So the first prize was for Dana. Oop, I already got it in a package. They're little prizes because, you know, costs of shipping. <laughs> but, um, get the, get out of here. These crab bags are slightly bigger than the normal ones. Um, uh, wide. Uh, they're five inches wide, but they're still easy to open <laughs> but Dana and I tried putting the label on the outside I did a really horrible job at centering it but it's on there <laughs> and I guess this is a dodgy bag because of that but it's still a bag it still works it still does what it's for this is like a hook size one I was working with scrap material but it's the llama one and I think it's green on the inside and then you will also get a Claudia button this one says Happiness is crochet, and she always puts tea and um, candy and some little stitch markers in there. I just got that down in the bag. Makes it easier for me. Threw a business card in there because I have them. Might as well just throw them in everything. And then I also found these cute little notebooks at the Dollar Tree. So I, thought I got you both for each one of those. So this one is for Dana. <laughs> and it says, make today amazing. You never have too many notebooks, especially as a crafter. Because you can always jot down pattern notes or keep track of rolls and all that stuff 
So I wanted to get some of the llama ones, but my Dollar Tree doesn't have any. I found one of the ones that's like the sunglasses open, but it was a pineapple, <laughs> not a llama. But uh, I thought this one was pretty. So that's Dana's prize. Get back in the envelope. I already got them all packaged and ready to go to the post office tomorrow. And then Sandra, Ooh. I made her a tie-dyed one. <laughs> I love tie-dye, so I thought I'd share it. And again, I did a really horrible job at centering it. <laughs> I need to learn how to um, to do that properly. And it's tie-dyed, and I think it's yellow on the inside. Yeah, yellow. And then you got a Claudia button that says crochet powers activate. And again, it's got the uh, tea and candy and stitch markers. Oh, in there. And it isn't hook size. It's a little bit shorter, but it's notion size. Big notions. I mean, you could get a big pair of scissors in there. You could maybe get some hooks in there. This has got a polymer clay frog on the top of it, so it might be too big. Yeah, it fits down in there. So you could probably put some hooks, but not like your whole hook stash. <laughs> Business card, because I have them. And then the other notebook that I got says be a mermaid make some waves and it's got a uh, mirrored mermaid on it <laughs> but again you can never have too many notebooks so yeah i know these aren't like big great prizes but um with everything going on lately i just haven't had time to make extra bags i barely had time to make the ones for the shop <laughs> and uh, i do have some more material i got a couple of yards of material today at our thrift store liner material so there may be some bags popping up in the shop just randomly um, whenever, you know, like if I have a time to make a bag one day, I'll make a bag and put it in the shop. And some of them may not have uh, matching zipper bags because I'm trying to use up scrap material that I have. I have a bunch of random pieces that are like big enough to make a project bag or just for crap bags or whatever. And I'm just going to start making them and randomly putting them up. But I will still have big updates probably once or twice a month. The next big update for bags will probably be... What is today? Let me look at the calendar. It'll probably be the last week of May. I might try to get some more out then. Um, just because I don't like working on bags all the time. I usually do it every two weeks is when I uh, like to sit down and sew a whole lot. So uh, there might be random bags popping up. And then by the end of May, the last week of May, there'll probably be a bunch. Um, 16 to 20 sets is usually what I aim for all at once. And I do have a lot of crab bags already cut. I just have to cut the liners and iron on the interfacing and get the sewing. And uh, they're really quick projects. Like those two right there I made last night. Took, took me about an hour maybe to make those two. And um, that's if I can just sit down and sew without anything interrupting me. But um, yeah, so random bag updates. There are still four or five or six bags in the shop right now. If you're interested, you can check it out. If not, that's cool. <laughs> Um, a lot of them sold super fast. Uh, sometimes the, some of the prints are really popular, like the teapots and the kittens are usually real popular. And um, I've already got some ideas of materials that I'm going to be looking for for the next update because I want to do some more uh, summery prints. And um, I can't buy any fabric right now anyways because our Hobby Lobby is closed while they're moving locations to a different um, storefront. So I gotta wait for them to reopen and then I can go check out their summer prints. Um, Cause they have a bunch of cute ones. I was looking at them last time I got this other material, but I wanted to go ahead and get these ones that I just, just made. And then uh, this next update, the next couple updates will be summery themed. And then uh, probably around August, I'll start in with the fall. And this year I'm gonna make a whole lot more Christmas prints <laughs> and winter prints because last year when I did them they sold out super fast and I wasn't expecting that. That was when I really first started my shop big time um, and they sold out super fast. People really loved the holiday, the Christmas holiday and wintery prints. So I'm going to try to start those earlier this year so that everybody who wants a Christmas bag or like a Christmas gift bag uh, can get them early you know before Christmas and all that jazz. So yeah and Halloween bags. They'll be Halloween ones and then fall ones because I know not everybody celebrates Halloween. But, um, I love Halloween. <laughs> I can't wait till the Halloween prints come back out in the stores. I hope some more of that vintage looking, um, print comes out again. I wish so bad I had bought more of that last year. Um, if, it, if they come out again this year on a boat, because sometimes they sell them in just one yard or fat quarters. If it comes out on a boat this year, I might buy quite a bit of it just so I have some for myself. Um, because I think that'd be a really cute skirt. 
but anyways it's a lot of babble about that <laughs> uh so i announced the winners i will i know who both of you are so i'm sure you will contact me uh if you don't in the next week i'll draw new winners <laughs> but um i just thought it was so funny that dana came up both times i was like dang she's trying to win all of them <laughs> but um i didn't want to give her both of them you know that's just kind of weird <laughs> so i went ahead even though she already won one i just went ahead and drew another one and it just happened to be sandra so that was cool um i loved everybody's projects i, I keep going in there because there's some that i really love and i i you know i'll keep going in there so i can see what patterns y'all use and i can go download them or add them to wish lists or whatever and it was a lot of fun hosting the crochet along and i do want to host another one but it'll probably be a really long time <laughs> because we are um, you know we're still dealing with a lot of spring and early summer is a big time for our family there's a lot of stuff going on so um i probably i kind of like the idea of having another ornament type thing but um i'm worried about the volume of it because last year you know my ornament swap was relatively small i think there was like 40 people but it's there's still a few headaches involved with that um from people not sending theirs out or some people wouldn't contact back you know and um it's all a hassle <laughs> and I don't like having to deal with stuff like that so I may not actually host an ornament swap this year I don't know I would have to wait till closer to Christmas time to worry about that but um so I don't know I don't know if I'll have another crochet along this year or not but I'll for sure do another one next year at some point um I'd like to do a charity like one kind of like Billy's doing with the hats but um <clears throat> I have a charity that I have in mind but I'm, I won't even talk about that until later because I don't want to deal with another crochet along right now. But yeah, so I think that's everything. <laughs> I'm not even doing yarn swaps for a while. I am in one, I'm in a carousel package swap thing from, I think the creator of it, I think it was Loretta and Blaine. It was either them or Rose. Maybe I'm in two. I don't know. I know I was talking on... Uh, Loretta and Blaine's website about the crochet carousel and I was also talking I got an email from Rose from Rose Likes Crochet about one I'm not sure if that's the same carousel or not but either way I met at least one or two of those <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to get to my turn I think I was like sixth or seventh in line so it's and it's been a couple weeks so it should be getting pretty close to my turn I'm excited about that I love the carousels because it's fun to see what comes and then you get to send random stuff to people and yeah so i didn't sign up for llama mama's new swap and actually today's the last day to sign up for that just because um it's just hassle you know and on top of all the private stuff going on in life personal life i can't add a whole bunch of stuff to that i'm already running around being busy uh, right now i'm trying to get my name changed <laughs> i got it legally changed yesterday like i said in you know i went to the social security blah <laughs> social security office and got my name legally changed um on my social security card but it's going to take like two weeks to get here and then when it gets here i have to go get my driver's license and then i have to redo my voter registration card and then i have to change my name on my debit card and on my tax information <laughs> and everything else uh, i gotta go to the post office and change my name there it's just a lot of hassle i wish it was just like a bundle for newlyweds that you just fill out one information sheet and send it off and then they just do it all for you or it'd be nice if you could do it online but tennessee is one of the states where you can't do like any of that online except the voter registration one everything else you have to do in person uh which sucks but <laughs> uh i'm slowly getting that done so i am technically already ella roberts um i just have to wait for my social security card to come in the mail before I can change everything else because I have to have that as my proof of identification for everything else. But it's getting done. Um, oh, I did get an acquisition today. Let me go grab it. It's a birthday card. Okay. <laughs> I got a birthday card from Cindy King. It's really pretty. Yeah, trying to get it. The little stars are sparkly. I think there's some sparkle around the header thing <laughs> super cute <laughs> i'm gonna keep that i keep all my cards i wish i could find some kind of craft to do i might do some kind of scrapbook thing to where i could just put them all in it i don't know or make like a you know like where you, you just punch holes in the cards and put them in like a ring binder thing that would be kind of cool i don't know <laughs> but some of the cards like christmas cards and like some of my easter cards that i got they're art worthy you know especially like the ones 
that Carla designed and um, the one from Crochet Luna and all that they're they're literally art they actually you know designed it and all that so it'd be cool to hang them up I might try to do that because I think these are normally five by seven ish they should fit in a five by seven frame but yeah speaking of frames I got some wedding pictures framed I got a wedding album today with all the pictures in it <laughs> I accidentally put them all in upside down so if anyone takes the album to look at it you have to turn it upside down to look at it because I realized all the way towards the end that I was putting them in upside down and I didn't even care to fix them so they're upside down but I do have my knit crate right here but I'm not going to show it until the next video which actually yeah you'll see this this episode today hopefully which is Friday May 10th and then tomorrow I will upload this so you won't get to see this until tomorrow unless you got it yourself <laughs> and there are bonuses in this one there's only one Hank which I actually didn't know that I thought there was going to be two and then there are two bonus items and they say on there there's a little card in here that says that this is the last ha uh, box this year with just one hank all the other boxes the rest of the year will have two hanks in them so woo! but this is sock yarn so it's still like almost 500 yards it's like 430 something yards um of yardage of yarn <laughs> and it came with a crochet sock pattern which i want to make yeah I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. I'm going to be in the same exact spot because I'm going to be filming it right now after I finish this. But yeah, I think that's everything. <laughs> I'm babbling now. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off because I want to film the knit crate video. I'm going to edit this and get it uploaded. And then I got to go in the kitchen because I got a big package of, of chicken and ground beef that I got to separate and freeze. And I've got to cut material because I got that material today. And I got that Disney material that I got the other day. It's like six yards so there's gonna be a lot of Disney bags it's really pretty material it's white with like but all the pictures are in like purple and there's sparkles and it's got all kinds of Disney characters on it um, I love it <laughs> I'll probably make myself a bag out of it and then make a bunch of bags for the shop but um, yeah I guess that's everything so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you think someone else will like it share it subscribe if you're not and I'll see you next video bye guys